Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm making a giant Stanley of some trace mineral water with some lime. And I'm gonna head out the door and head to my dad's house. I just got my hair done yesterday and I feel like a new person. I haven't gotten it done since May. And I just got a partial. I switch off between full and partial and I go to Jess at Stella Luca Salons in Winter Park Village. There's two locations. There's one kind of by Park Ave and there's one in Winter Park Village and she works out of the Winter Park Village one. Yesterday, it was so crazy. I went in and was getting my hair done and there was all of this um, camera crew there and they were filming season one of Orlando Basketball Wives in the salon and I'm pretty sure I just had a waiver and everything like I was okay with being on camera like it's fine um but they were doing a lot of like up close like around my head as I was getting foils put in my head or on my hair and um they were just doing like a lot of around and getting our conversations I don't know if I'm my voice is going to be in it I don't know if it's just um like pre-roll or where they just do like a bunch of scenes before they get into the scene of them talking I don't really know and then there was a part where I was getting the foils taken out of my hair about to lean back to get my head like my hair washed literally looking I mean if you know if you get your hair done you know what it looks like to get foils taken out you're not looking the best and I, I was literally in the background they were standing right in front of me filming a scene and I was literally right behind them camera pointing towards me I don't know if they just got like from here up of the girls or if I'm actually like you can see me but that will not be a good a good video but I will be for sure tuning in to season one to see if if I make it into the episode but I just thought that was so interesting because <laughs> it's not what I expected when I went to go get my hair done yesterday I'm kind of excited to see I have never watched like an episode of Basketball Wives, but it's kind of cool that they're now doing the Orlando Basketball Wives. Yeah, so I got my hair done yesterday for my trips. I just decided to do it before Rosemary Beach instead of doing it right before Europe. I kind of wanted it fresh for both trips, so got it done. And I just do, I don't know if anyone's interested, but I switch on and off. I go probably every 10 weeks, sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes like eight weeks. And I switch on and off between a partial and a full. And I do highlights and then I do, so I used to do a shadow root, which is a little bit more drawn out of darkness at the top. And then I did, started doing a root tap. So it was a little less. And now I just do a root tap down the center of my head instead of all over to kind of keep the rest of my head pretty blonde and I just switch on and off to kind of help with the overall health of my hair since I am bleaching it. But I feel like I take pretty good care of my hair for it being so blonde. And I also got an inch taken off of the bottom and trimmed up the front piece. And then I also leave, I do a money piece in the front so it's um, these two strands of hair just don't get any of the root tap, so the darker color and then I do just um, ashy toner so yeah that's what I do and I go see Jess and um, she does an amazing job I've never walked out of the salon disappointed I've never and I've been seeing her for I know I started seeing her before COVID so I think it's been probably almost four years so I can link her um, Instagram down below if you're in the Orlando area and you need someone to do your hair. She is incredible. So I will put her Instagram down below so you can find her. She posts a ton of her work on her Instagram. It's like crunch time. It's the last weekend before we go to Rosemary Beach next weekend. Um, Christian, This is Christian's last weekend in town until September 18th. So we're going to rosemary beach next weekend then the following weekend he does fantasy football as most guys do um and he'll be going down back home to south florida to do like his little draft for fantasy football and then the following weekend we leave for europe so we leave for europe in three weeks 
less than three weeks, which is crazy. I'm starting to get just a little bit anxious, really excited, um, a little stressed about packing and things like that. And I'm leaving the country for so long, so far away and to a place I've never been to, but I'm so excited to be going and experiencing it with Christian. But yeah, Rosemary Beach next weekend. So I'm going to my dad's tomorrow a suitcase because I'm like the only person in the world that doesn't have like a full size suitcase. And um, my dad just lets me borrow his. So I do need to eventually invest in one, but for now I'm just gonna be borrowing my dad's. So I'm gonna go get that suitcase from his house. I don't think I'm gonna pack in a full-size luggage for rosemary we're only gone for like a couple of nights three nights four days not even four full days i think i could definitely manage to pack it all in a carry-on but i just don't want the pressure because i don't we're not flying we're driving there we're road tripping um two of our friends sean and sam are coming to stay with us wednesday night and then we leave thursday morning and it's like a six hour drive just made more sense to drive there than it did to fly flights were kind of pricey and there was no direct flights from orlando and it was way cheaper to like get a rental car and all drive there together so that's what we're doing i'm so excited yeah just a lot of exciting things are coming up and i just have i wake up every day just so excited for like what's coming up so i'm gonna go to my dad's get the suitcase come back and do some laundry um, kind of rough start packing and putting together some outfits and I'm like this I have to have basically everything packed or at least put in a place that it stays until I throw it in a suitcase so I don't forget anything like I don't I pack my makeup up a couple days before I leave like the weekend prior and I just use my makeup out of the bag so I don't forget anything I don't know um, so everything will stay pretty packed until we leave and then I'll just throw everything in the suitcases but and I don't want the pressure of trying to pack throughout the week so I'm definitely packing this weekend and yeah so excited um, I'm so excited to vlog I've never been so all of the trips are coming up and I've just been anticipating these trips for the rosemary trip for a couple of months and Italy we got the original invite in December so I've just been anticipating all this stuff and I'm so excited so I'm gonna head out to my dad's and come back do all all the stuff to help me prep closet i'm starting to pack picking out bathing suits cover-ups and some dresses for dinners we're gonna be gone thursday friday saturday night coming home sunday the girls are going for pastels and color a lot of my colorful outfits or dresses that i have i want to save for italy i think i'm gonna do this one and then I think this is like a safe option. It's the black maxi. Both of them are from Princess Polly. So I think I'm going to do these two for dinners. <laughs> Everything is basically from Princess Polly. It's so funny, but a lot of the clothes that I picked out when I worked with them, all of those clothes that I did pick out, I was mainly thinking of these trips. So I mainly bought clothes that I would want to wear on these trips. So probably going to do this little knit 
two-piece set for the car ride there because it looks a little like put together but it's still comfy and casual i think i want to bring an extra dress just in case i don't like these two dresses for dinners and i'm deciding between these two this one i've like worn this one i haven't worn Okay, made a ton of progress. I guess I'll just run through basically really quickly everything that I have. So I think this is gonna be my outfit that I'm wearing in the car on the way there. And then I have two options for first night's dinner. I have linen pants and a tank or linen shorts and a tank. And then I just have this extra pair of jean shorts and a tank top and a bodysuit just in case always good to have like an extra outfit that you can wear anywhere and then i have this white button-up tank and i have a pair of black linen shorts coming in the mail and they should be here tuesday so i was gonna bring that for another daytime outfit a lot of linen <laughs> going on and then i have swimsuits I kind of brought three swimsuits i'll probably only end up wearing one or two but i like to have options then i have some sandals that i'm bringing a nighttime bag even though i really don't have a bag that matches some of these floral print dresses but i guess this is fine so i have this princess poly dress for brunch one day and then i have three options for the two other nights for dinners the first night's pretty casual we're just doing something quick and easy but i wanted three options just in case one of them i don't really like that day for dresses for the evening time so i brought three outfit home and i'm bringing two sets of pjs even though we are going for three nights i can definitely rewear. and then i'm bringing one just white crew neck to have jewelry i think i'm gonna bring this perfume which is by dossier and i believe it's the black opium dupe dry shampoo my beach bag that i got from zara the cups that i shared in my last vlog for the trip that i got that say friends trip august 2023 rosemary beach so can't forget those and then i'm bringing my lack of color little bucket hat and i got this little bag clip from amazon for your hats to just kind of clip to the outside of your bag like that and that's basically it and then i'm gonna bring those heels that strap up or lace up and then those slides and I believe that's everything. I don't think I need anything else. And then obviously my toiletries, makeup, hair care, stuff like that. Okay, we just got home from getting fresh kitchen for dinner and I'm gonna cut up some mangoes. We got like four things total from the grocery store today because we really didn't need anything. And I didn't have to meal prep this week. I'm about to cut up some mango for breakfast this week for the three days that we're in town. And I'm gonna show you a really easy way to cut up mango. I've kind of showed it in a recent vlog, but this is such an easy way. To cut this so i'm gonna share and i'm sure this is common knowledge but you want the you want it to be really squishy because then it's super ripe and yummy on the inside so i'm just going to show you on this one really quick so you just take it and you just take a cup like this and you just and it leaves you with the whole inside taken out and you're left with this to cut up and i know some people cut it still in the skin and that makes it really hard to get it out this is the easiest way to get the inside 
out and when it's ripe it literally just glides like you only have to use like minimal pressure to kind of get the inside out and you're just left with a great hunk that you can just cut up mango has been on sale for like the past couple of weeks from Publix, so we've just been buying it and it's so good in yogurt bowls with granola it tastes incredible Okay, I'm about to get in the bath again. Last night's bath was great. I felt so relaxed after, so I'm gonna do it again tonight to help me relax, decompress before a short work week. It's only three days this week, which is so nice. And I'm going to wipe my teeth while in the bath. I saw this on TikTok and I've been doing it the past two nights. And what you do to help with sensitivity is you cut the white strips in half and supposedly it's the wrap around the tooth that increases the sensitivity so i've been doing that and it helps so much with sensitivity i haven't even been using my sensodyne toothpaste and i haven't had any sensitivity at all so i've just been cutting them in half and then you get twice the amount of white strips here is my set for tonight, and then I keep the other set of two for tomorrow, and it works just as good. It almost fully covers my two front teeth. They are pretty long, so I just kind of like switch off between like how high and how low they sit on my teeth to kind of make it even, but they fit perfectly on my bottom teeth because my bottom teeth are, they seem tall to me, but they fit the white strips. So I don't know. So this is a little hack to whiten your teeth with pressed white strips and then you get twice as many white strips. So it's like a win-win because these are so expensive for like only a couple of them. So. I'm gonna wipe my teeth, take a bath. I picked up these basalts. They're with hemp seed oil, and what caught my eye was that it helps to deeply moisturize the skin, and my skin has been so dry. Don't know why it's been so dry, because I haven't really been laying out in the sun, and I moisturize after every single shower, and it's almost like my skin just soaks up all the moisture instantly. So anything to help. I also like oil. I layer with oil and moisturizer like lotion so i don't really know i am going to put these on and get in the bath and relax to start a short work week top strip is on and i have a fake tooth on the bottom i don't know if i've ever shared that but i have a fake tooth over here and it's because on both sides actually of my mouth <laughs> I had like two teeth and they only came up like halfway. They didn't grow all the way in. Is this even focused? Um, they didn't grow all the way in. And when I had braces in the sixth grade or whatever, they actually removed the tooth on this side, but they didn't remove it on this side. So then when I got my wisdom teeth taken out like eight years ago, it was a while ago, they removed that tooth along with my, I only had three wisdom teeth, I think and they removed that tooth along with the three other wisdom teeth. I got a implant put in, so a screw drilled in and like a tooth. So I shift this over to the right a little bit more because it won't color the big tooth. Okay, my battery light is flashing at me and I am talking with a lisp 